Hello, welcome back to Relics of Hyrule the series. This is episode 251. And uh, I've updated a couple. I updated. I updated a few mods. Jeez, okay. I updated a few mods. Um. And one of those was Vokri. And it refunded all my perks. Uh, so we're going to. Uh, quickly reconfigure those. Um, so heavy armor, heavy armor mastery, and heavy armor fit. Those are the ones we had. And we'll end up with a few extra perks along the way because uh, Vokri changed how they do things, and that is that. You don't need five levels to do mastery. It just does 1% per level. Um, so we'll end up with some extra perks that we can use to our advantage. This might actually help in the long run with uh, Winter Moon. And I had Augmented Shock, but I think I might... Well, a whole... I will do that. I don't want to make it inconsistent. Um, necromancy and ghoul frenzy. Um, didn't have any illusion. We had alchemy though, which is nice. Um, do we have a lock picking? We did not. Um, light armor. We did not have. Um, archery, we did, we had archery mastery. One-handed, yes. And OA, what was OA? Overpowering assault, we had, um, swords. And we didn't have anything in two-handed. Okay, so, it looks like we have, like, nine perks that we can use now. So I think I'm going to invest some in heavy armor. Use thing I'll use things that are logical like face of death. Um blech. Yeah. Battle fatigue. Less attack damage from opponents with low stamina. That would make sense. What is this one? 10% chance to stagger the attacker. I'll take it. Um, half damage from falling if wearing all heavy armor. That's a good thing. Enchanting. Soul squeezer. I don't think we... Scrolls are stronger. That could be good. Power stone. Staves are stronger. That's that's a cool. Um, let's hold off on that one for a bit. Conjuration. Summoned creatures. We're not really focusing on summoned creatures. Do I have enough for respite yet? No. I need 40 for that. Inner light. Ah, uh, that would be good. I'll take that, and I think I should also take dual casting for restoration. That would be helpful. Um, destruction. I've been using fire, so let's just go with fire. Augmented flames. Hold up. Okay, good. We do have water. I'm just double checking that that um, patch was installed correctly. Uh, alchemy, what's this over here? Physician, that is important. Um, pickpocket, lock picking, sneak. Archery, I think we should take an archery perk. Um, how about far shot? Okay. Because that will reach impaling shot. Oh, butts. I forgot to take the dagger perk. Well, the next perk that we get will be daggers. Also, um, I installed a couple new 
features. Now, don't uh, don't get really mad at me, but um, I installed. Well, it looks like it's not active on this save. Um, but I installed some Creation Club content, so you know, don't don't blast me out of the sky. Um, <laughs> I used to not be super. Um, when Creation Club first came out, I was intrigued by a few things, and it took me a while to sort of warm up to it. Um, some of the things that I've installed, I installed um, Arcane Archery, the Arcane uh, Accessories Pack. Yeah, the Arcane Accessories Pack, uh, Alternate Ebony Armors, the Survival Pack. I don't have Survival enabled for Winter Moon because he's already so squishy that I don't want to... I don't want to make him even more squishy. Um, but we also have the Campfire... the Camping ma uh, creation, as well as... As well as the, um... Nope, okay, didn't think so. Uh, we have the camping creation as well as the adventurer's backpack creation. Um, uh, there's a few other things that I got. Rare curios is another one I got. Um, uh, crossbow pack. All that good stuff. I'll have it in the description for this episode of the creations that I have installed. Um... So all the only one that you won't see for Winter Moon, at least for a while, is the survival, because that completely changes how the game is played. It it tanks your um, carry weight, and it does a lot of other things. And I also customized um, <laughs> the arcane accessories, and I installed some patches, of course, and I uh, a few um changes because I didn't really like how the arcane accessories and arcane archer did things with it like starting up and it just drops everything in your inventory right away. That's just really cheap. Fortunately there's unofficial patches that fix that so I installed those and I also tweaked um, the items and like different things about those patch those creations uh, through a external patch that I made myself. Just minor things like um uh like arcane uh accessories. It adds like sixteen new spells and a chest with all of those spells to uh a cave in Skyrim. You can just go and get all the spells and I'm just like no 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 so I changed it so that that chest look at that floating bow what, what an age we live in. What a time to be alive. Um, so I changed it so that, that that chest... So that that chest... Oh, man. So that chest um, doesn't automatically have all of the spells. It has a lot of the... Sp some of the spells. Not a lot of them. It has, like, a guaranteed one or two, I think. And then, like, some random ones. Random chance for other ones. And I might tweak... It a little bit more in the future as I play through it and see what needs balancing. But just because you you have to pay for the creations does not mean that they are well thought out um, in terms of gameplay. I was not impressed by that. The fact that they just like give you these two powerful robes and mark a location for a cheat chest on your map. It just really lame. Did not like that. But honestly, that was the only problem that I had was with the the way that the arcane archery and the arcane um, accessories just dump things into your inventory as soon as you load them up. This is not how Skyrim works. That's just not fair. You just be wandering in the middle of nowhere. You install that creation and suddenly you have all these powerful arrows, including ones that are more powerful than Dragonbone. 
which is ridiculous. But I digress. The crafting recipes for those new bone arrows are also weird. You need ten dragon bone to make ten uh, bone arrows in the arcane archer pack. C compare that to the vanilla dragon bone arrows that require one dragon bone and make 24. Granted, the bone arrows weigh more and they are one point stronger, but it's still a strange balance. So I might tweak that so that it's like five dragon bone or something like that. Um, because 10 dragon bone isn't quite... It's just like one point stronger and it's... They're arrows that actually weigh, that have weight. So it seems like they should either be stronger or the cost should be lower because it's no diff. It's just, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll tweak it as I see fit. So you might see some stuff from those creations as we play further into Winter Moon's extravaganza. Oh. I still, I mean, every time I see this, this is not the vanilla texture, and it looks terrible. This is not what a saber eyes cat eye thing would look like. Actually, I should grab that. Hello. I am waiting for a good death. Oh. My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Yes, were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Perhaps, are you sure about this? We shall see. Hey, Althea. I'm sorry, but you left me with no choice. Well, that was that. Is that it? Was that it? <laughs> Here, here, buddy. There you go. I think I did this mini, that like mini quest once. I just want to prop him up, you know. There you go. I did that mini quest once, and he died kneeling. Um, like, the way that the ragdoll physics worked out, he just sort of died, um, kneeling. Do I have any... Here. I have an orichalcum ingot. There you go. He died kneeling, which, like, sort of fit really well. We're off to Riverwood. We're almost there. Moose. Keep forgetting that I don't have survival mode activated. I was about to kill that moose. Because survival mode really encourages hunting and foraging. Because you just can't carry a ton of food. You can't carry a million cheese wheels because you don't have the room in your inventory for it. Although. Okay, Sleeping Giant in, but first I'm gonna swing by a uh, cool weapon surplus over here to see if they have anything neat. Used to strangers here in Riverwood. Hey, oh! Ain't every day we get visitors from Riverwood. Take a look. Alright, let's see here. 
Hoo-hoo! That's an artifact of Ultima weapon. Jeez. <laughs> He's selling some hot... Hot stuff. Um... Let's see here. Uh, I'm just gonna double check what I have. So the Great Dagger is 30. It's a single... Handed weapon that is 30. Although it is tarnished, it is blemished, so I might have to repair it. Um, but that's generally about what it is. Um, mm -hmm. See if he has any you need. armor. Take a look. Armor, especially. It is dwarven armor, which is not as good as what I have. Um. He has a Dwarven Long Mace. Which, none of these are as good as what I have already. Um, but, let's look at value again. I can't afford that Fire Sword by any stretch of the imagination. I might be able to afford... Oh my god, he has 6-6 six, six of gold! Ah! <laughs> let's see if there's anything I can sell him. Wolfos pelts love arrows. <laughs> hmm. Undead flea. Well, undead flea. I could buy this iron, this hide shield, and disenchant it. I don't know if I have the block uh, enchantment. Well, I'll keep all that in mind. All right, then. Excuse me, I was going to use that, Althea. Why do you gotta be like this? Like, I thought we were bros. I thought we were, like, legitness. Like, what? what is your deal? What is your deal? I mean, like, come on. Oh my god. Ah. Alright, I don't have anything. Um, just double check her inventory here to see if she has any... Nope, okay. She has the rusted sword, which I need to keep in mind because I. Oh, I wonder if he has anything like spell tomes. Uh, I need to keep the rusted sword in mind, so that I can eventually do the um, seashell sword. <laughs> she sells seashell sword. Although, it means so much thank you so much for taking care of Take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. Alright, that's not really what I need. Do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Okay. See you at the most valuable. Oh man, he's selling robes. Selling some heckin'... Oh my god, man. Look at these things that you're selling here. Look at that elven mall. That's actually really good. Oh, man. So he's selling a curved heater from Relic, uh, Artifacts of Ultima. And a kite shield. Wow. Oh, he's selling these. I should get that. Oh, wait. <gasps> Hang on a second. That might be what I need. Like, this is one thing, but this... Yeah, I really think that this... I should get that. I'll get that. It's affordable. Um, is there anything else that he's selling? Kettle. Spell book. I, ooh, jug of milk. That's neat. I'll take your potions, too. Give me your potions. And I will give you something in return. An orange rupee. I don't want to really... I will sell him 
some red rupees. There we go. It was a pleasure. Of course it is. Okay. Now we can continue with the main quest a little bit more. Uh, I don't know where Delphine is going to send me first. What do you want? Nothing. I want you to get your head in the game. <laughs> I know there's an enchanter down in Delphine's area. Ooh. You're that visitor been poking around. Hey, look at this. It's a there are no fairies in Skyrim from Relics of Hyrule, and it tells us uh, it tells you the codes for the different item types that the fairies mark. Um, in Relics of, in 6.6, .6, I'm planning to add another one, um, that, uh, tells, uh, because the fairies are going to get a shape redesign, um, so, like, green fairies will be a certain shape and orange fairies will be a certain shape, so you can tell the difference um, even if you don't um, look at the color. Or if you can't see the color. Because I know there's some uh, people who can't see color. Uh, or can't see certain colors. So I did redesign the shapes. So there's going to be another one. Probably with this one. Because this is a guaranteed copy. Um, that will uh, tell you about the shapes. I will fortify conjuration. Except that these are terrible. <laughs> How about fortify enchanting? That's not good. Um, I don't think I need to bother with this. Okay, let's talk to Delphine. Oh, that you're not Delphine. We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Are you? I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. What if you don't have enough money? Does she still let you in? Talk to Delphine. I haven't found my special someone yet, but there's still hope. What are you talking about, Althea? What are you implying, Althea? What's your deal? Is this the right place? Or is it on... An, oh, it's over here? Or is it here? It's here. I'll sit here and wait. Drink my ale. Ah, yeah. Rest them bones. <laughs> I'll say it's just like, nope. Come on, hey, Delphine, you're gonna come? So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. What's a Dragonborn? Follow me. At least close the door. Orgnar is just like, what? What did I just watch? Come on, I'll say I get in here. Close the door. Okay. Yeah, there it is. I don't only really need that. I can get rid of well uh, I don't yeah, let's get rid of that. Um and I'll Disenchant this as well. Okay. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I hope so. I just handed you the horn of Jurgen Windcrawler. Does that make me Dragonborn too? Lady. <laughs> I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. 
I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to... Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been... If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure... Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my... But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. We remember what most don't. That the dra- You're the only one that can kill- Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon? Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They weren't gone somewhere for- Now something's happening to bring them back to life. I know they are. And I figured out where- We're going to go there. And you're going to kill that dragon. Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. I, just I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. So, like D. Magnus said, like she says that the Thalmor. Oh, boop! Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Oh, turn page one. Imperial Library, two members of the Blade, Skyhaven Temple. So, that is from uh, Artifacts of Ultima, um, including to Skyhaven Temple. I'll take that! <laughs> Thank you for your custom. <laughs> Ooh, an Akaviri quarterstaff. Um, oh, that's good. Okay, so, like D. Magnus mentioned in episode 250, like, Delphine says that they're ancient enemy, well, they're old enemies with the Thalmor, and yet she just waltzes right into the uh, season unending situation. Um, just like blind, <laughs> like it's just so silly. Uh, anyway, I digress. All right, what can I drop? Is there anything that I don't need? I guess that's my shield. The I don't need this. So I will give that to her. Hey, hey you, hey you. Um, I'm gonna give you this. Because I don't need it. I almost wonder if I should put that on. What do I have on right now? I have the dark circlet, which boosts my... Ah. Okay. The dark circlet? Not wearing the dark circlet actually helps me. But it makes conjuration spells cost less. I really need to find an alteration table so that I can alteration the crap out of these things to make them not um, armored, you know? Okay. Circle of it. What I really need is... Yeah, I just need the alteration table. Yeah, leave this wide open, why don't you? Please close the door, God. Alright. Goodbye, Argnar. Nice knowing ya. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Let's look at Kynesgrove on the map. Um, where is Kynesgrove? It's over here. Hmm. I can return that when I feel like it. I don't want to waste time going back to High Hrothgar. Um, I need to get... Let's see. On the way to Kynesgrove... I still need to get the one in Lost Prospect mine, 
which I will get We're right next to more Witterjall. I think we should swing by more Witterjall right now. Clear more Witterjall. And then... Uh, then we can start going to Kynesgrove and doing that. And... We got all the shard... Oh no, there's still one in more Witterjall that we haven't gotten. No, no, we already got that one. Yeah, there's a few. We still need to do the rift. So once we get... Like, we need to... Once the main quest leads us to the rift, I don't want to waste time in that sense. Um... I think it would be best for us to go to more Wittershall. So... For the last little bit of this episode, I'm going to head to more Wittershall. She can do her own thing. We're going to head to more Wittershall and start clearing that out. Um, I think I'm going the right way. That's Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah. Okay. We're going the right way. I think I can... That's not it. As usual, I don't know what's going on with these. No, 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 wrong one. No. No! No! No. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, that's the way it is. F1 thrift. Alright, I don't get it. Ah, Ember Shard Mine. It's always been celebrated for its excellence. Can't really go through it. Don't really have... I don't really have the need to. So yes, I will get to more Wittershall this episode. And probably clear out that first room with the bandits. And then from there, I will... Um, get the rest of it done. Uh, in episode 252. Or maybe... Maybe what I could do is go through Mad God Passage. Ooh. Hmm. That might be fun. Yeah, I think I should go through Mad God Passage first. Hope I'm still going the right way. Yes, I am. What? I heard like a, like a, oh, hello. Oof. Oh, that's tragic. Iron armor of minor destruction. Interesting. Oh my Christmas! Get out of here, you dingleberry! Stop it! <laughs> A very tragic scene here. Okay. 
<laughs> he says as he steals their equipment. Minus works. Oh, what's this? This is a rune? Yeah, that's a rune. That's the Fire Doom staff. For some reason, plus isn't working. And neither is F1. There must be something weird about the way that it's set up for my for how Sky UI does equipment. Like maybe it's set to not. I have no idea. No clue. No clue. Some reason that just doesn't like. It likes everything else. Hello. Oh, that's right. Hey, you love to see it. Okay. Um. Let's get that perk. And let's do stamina. Stamina's always good. And I was gonna get daggers. Okay. That way I can poison something uh, and then hit it with my dagger. Hi, Hunter. Hunter just popped out of nowhere. Because I'm running too fast. Gotta go fast. I'm on the wrong side. I went the wrong way. Hang on. I want to go through Mad God Passage. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. It was really cool when that rainbow showed up when I was taking screenshots of Broken Tower Robot. I keep my conjuration up. Cool. There's Pine Watch. Great. Oh, there's actually a. Uh... Oh, hello. 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 Oh, that's do that's new. That's not good. That is not good. That doesn't happen very often. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'm just going to call the episode there. And we'll get back to this point a little bit later. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.